vacuum. Do you want a magic tool which can help you solve difficult problems and open up new possibilities to get what you really want in life? Before I dive into the theoretical part, let me tell you about my problem and how the tool worked it out for me. Ever since I turned 27, I had no boyfriend, but quite a few younger brothers. They don't share any DNA with me or among themselves. They're all of the same age, and at some point, they all told me that they really liked me. My first response is to tell them my age, and they will say, oh, you'll be my elder sister forever. It happened constantly over the past few years, and I adopted my latest younger brother in last December. Just before I left graduate school, my parents started to arrange blind dates for me. Once my dates learned that I had a job offer for an investment bank, they were not really impressed, but kind of scared. Some candidates didn't even show up, saying that they didn't want to have a girlfriend with a master's degree while they only have a bachelor's degree themselves. My last ex-boyfriend was my previous colleague. He, was, um, he is older than me, has a PhD from Tsinghua University. Unfortunately, we were assigned to different teams in our company's training program. The moment my team's project was chosen to be presented at the graduation ceremony instead of his, he was angry with me for over two weeks. He told me that if I wanted things to work, we could not work in the same company because he felt frustrated whenever he is not the winner among us. Early this year, I ran into the guy I used to like when I was in graduate school. I was 25, with no income, doing my master's, while he was five years older than me, doing his PhD, paid by his program. I didn't know why things didn't work out before, so I asked him to tell me what I did wrong before so that I would not make the same mistake in the future. He told me that he viewed himself relatively smarter among those clever people in his circle, but my IQ was higher than his, and he didn't want to deal with a wife with a high IQ. And that was my only fault in his eyes. Every time I answered that I was still single to unfamiliar relatives, they would say, well, you better lower your standard before it's too late as there is a popular saying that female with three major weaknesses, high in education, high in age, and high in income, will not be able to find a boyfriend or husband easily unless they face the reality and lower their standard. I guess I would have to pretend to be dumb and fail my um, project and I better burn my master degree of certificate, cross off big name from my resume, and most importantly, to fit my ID to be at least six years younger. I asked myself, is there saying a, a, as real as the law of gravity so that every time you lose your hand, That's bad. So every time you lose your hand, the apple will jump to the ground. I don't think so. So instead of lowering my standard, I did the opposite. Not long ago, I have found my perfect boyfriend. He's super smart. He's very passionate and very good at what he does. He's also fun, generous, and faithful. Rather than waiting to be chased, as most people would advise, I told him my heart. In the very beginning, he said that it didn't seem to be very practical, given the fact that we live 
9,000 kilometers away from each other, and that station will last at least two to three years. I created my own model of gravity to show him that those were not issues. I wrote a story to him each day about our beautiful future with different variations, which all ended happily. I guess it would take more than beautiful stories to convince him that it's our destiny to be together. I had to show him how the beautiful future will happen for us. So I thought nothing will be better than an algorithm to show how our life would be, because he's a huge geek and great computer software engineer. So I wrote about what our life would be from the very moment to the end in simplified Java code and I sent it to him for his review. He read it, rewrote it in real Java code, made it able to compile and run on any software platform. I know the moment he wrote the software out himself, our future together has become a destiny to him. If I allowed other people's mindsets about the three high females to limit me, I would not have found my perfect boyfriend. You see, very often we are not limited by external difficulties, but rather our own mindsets. One general mindset many young people could have is to believe that to be successful, we have to have a certain type of career. To build that career, we have to excel in the best company. To get in and do well in the company, we have to hold on to the most promising position. To get that position, we have to meet all the requirements of one specific job description. With those assumptions, we limit ourselves to a very narrow route to success. Another common mistake girls can make is to marry someone they don't have many feelings for, but think it will be too late if they don't get married right away. But do we have to meet all the requirements of one specific job description to be successful? Do we have to get married before we turn 27, or otherwise it's forever impossible? Is the logic behind as real as the law of gravity? Let me show you a few examples. When recruiting summer intern, we only took second year undergraduate students or uh, sorry, uh, three, third year undergraduate students and second year graduate students because they could join the company right after they finished the internship. Once there was one first year graduate student and he told me that he really wanted to apply because we already have 100 times more applicants than the openings. I just told him to wait one more year, but he persisted. I accepted his resume and other managers decided to give him a chance. He passed the interview and did really well in his internship. One of my friends, she was applying MBA and she failed to pass or get any interview after the deadline. Instead of giving up, as most people would do in that situation, she asked me to help her with mock interview. She arrived at her office every day, 5 a.m., working on her application and making progress each day. She used all her connections and got to know her officer from a famous business school and she turned casual chat with that officer into serious consideration for an interview, and she did really well in the interview and received an offer. She turned an obvious, fail obvious failure to most people into a huge success because she believed that it was possible. To get what you really want in life, you have to make sure whatever assumption you have can pass the law of gravity. Use the test 
to focus on the real goal instead of giving up because one of the many possible things will not work away right up will not work right away for you. Just to walk away a little bit from your original goal and see the big picture. Um, as a career advisor, very often students 10 years younger than me will come to me and tell me that they feel really anxious that they still haven't figured out their passion and they're worried that it's already too late. Too late! They're still in their early 20s and they're worried that it's too late. You know, if you find out your passion at the age of 10, or find it out when you're 35, when not changing anything in the long run, as long as you keep searching instead of giving up when you reach to a certain age in your life and say that's it, you will find it one day and you will be happy doing the thing you want to do one day. But before that, you have to believe that you don't have to find all the answers before one certain point in your life. To get what you really want in life, I believe the best you can do is see your dream future and write it down as vividly as possible and better to share with people who you love and people who love and support you. I hope you have found a logic error in my speech so far because who says the law of gravity is the ultimate truth? We have bypassed the law of gravity as we can fly around the earth within a day and we can even land on the moon. So, when you remove your own limitation, sky cannot be your limit. Thank you.